Did you ever think why Israel might support the Philippines in a conflict against China? At first, these two countries seem very different. Israel is a small advanced nation in the Middle East, while the Philippines is a Southeast Asian nation facing pressure from its powerful neighbor, China. Despite the differences, there is a deeper story of shared concern, strategic interests, and the possibility of an alliance that could change the geopolitical balance in the Asia-Pacific. The Philippines, located in Southeast Asia, is increasingly caught up in China's expansionist ambitions, ongoing territorial disputes, and China's military actions have alarmed Manila, leading the country to seek reliable allies. Israel, with its strong military and advanced defense technology, could be a partner that helps strengthen the Philippines' defenses and deter Chinese aggression. However, this potential alliance is not simple. Israel would need to weigh the benefits against the risks of upsetting China, an important economic partner. The Philippines, on the other hand, must consider the consequences of aligning with a country often involved in regional conflict. Building this partnership requires careful thought about their historical ties, strategic interests, and the challenges they would face. We'll take a look at the Israel-Philippine alliance against China's rising power, their historical connections, military capabilities, strategic benefits, and potential risks, and will argue that this partnership could be more than just a theoretical idea. It might be essential for both nations in today's changing world. Despite the physical distance, Israel and the Philippines have a history of cooperation and shared values. During World War II, the Philippines, led by President Manuel Quezon, provided refuge to Jewish people. It's well known that the Philippines is Israel's sole ally in Southeast Asia. The Philippines voted in favor of UN Resolution 181, recommending the establishment of a Jewish state in 1947. The Philippines was among the 33 countries who supported the establishment of Israel and the only Asian country who voted for the resolution. That's why Filipinos are the only Asians who are not required to get visas to enter Israel. This is said to be payment for Israel's debt of gratitude to the Philippines. This kind of kindness created a bond between the two nations, laying the groundwork for future collaboration. Over the years, Israel and the Philippines have built diplomatic relations, engaged in cultural exchanges, and formed economic partnerships. Israel's military strength <coughs> Israel's military strength is recognized worldwide, built from decades of navigating difficult and hostile environment. The Israel Defense Forces are highly experienced and technologically advanced, supported by a strong domestic defense industry and a culture that values innovation. Israel's technological leadership, especially in cybersecurity, drone technology and missile defense has made its military one of the most advanced in the world. For the Philippines facing growing pressure from China's military power, Israel's military capabilities are a valuable resource. Access to Israeli technology, training, and intelligence could greatly improve the Philippines' defenses, helping it deter threats and protect its maritime interests in the South China Sea. China's rise as a global power has created uncertainty in the Asia-Pacific region, especially for countries like the Philippines that share borders with China. China's assertive actions in the South China Sea, along with its expanding military, have raised concern about its long-term intentions. Territorial disputes in the South China Sea involve conflicting island and maritime claims in the region by several sovereign states, namely China, Taiwan, Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Vietnam. The disputes involve the islands, reefs, banks, and other features of the South China Sea. In the late 1970s, the Philippines, Malaysia started claiming the Spartly Islands as part of their own territory. On June 11, 1978, 
President Ferdinand Marcos of the Philippines issued a presidential decree declaring the northwestern part of the Spiral Islands, called the Kalayan Group Island, as Philippine territory. In 1994, China took control of Mischief Reef, which is about 250 kilometers from the Philippine coast. This happened during a competition for energy resources in the Spotlys. China didn't have a presence in the area. The occupation of Mischief Reef marked the first military clash between China and the Philippines. Between the 1990s and 2000s, who controls most of the Spiral and Parasol Islands hasn't changed much. China has full control of the Parasols. In the Spartleys, Vietnam has control over most, with 29 features. The Philippine controls 8, Malaysia has 5, and China has control over 5 as well. President Marcos Jr. announcement about initiating talks between the Philippines and Vietnam regarding Vietnamese ships entering the country's exclusive economic zone received limited attention because Vietnam, which asserts ownership of the Spiral Islands views them as its own sovereign territory. Vietnam doesn't align with the false narrative propagated by American supporters, suggesting that the issues in the South China Sea are primarily caused by China's expansionism. Recently, Chinese and Philippine Coast Guard vessels collided in the disputed South China Sea and four Filipino crew members were injured in high seas confrontation. The Chinese Coast Guard ships and accompanying vessels blocked the Philippine Coast Guard and supply vessels off the disputed 2nd Thomas Shaw and executed dangerous maneuvers that caused two minor collisions between the Chinese ships and two of the Philippine vessels. Officials in China gave fewer details but the country's Coast Guard said that the Philippine ships were illegally intruding the area's waters and accused one of them of ramming a Chinese vessel. Philippine officials said that the Philippine Coast Guard had minor structural damage from a collision that happened shortly after dawn. Over an hour later, another Chinese Coast Guard ship first blocked, then collided with a supply boat the Philippine Coast Guard was escorting. The supply boat, manned by Filipino Navy personnel, was later hit by water cannon blasts from two Chinese Coast Guard ships. Its windshield shattered, injuring at least four Filipino crew members. The confrontations have sparked fears of a larger conflict that could involve the United States and its allies. The US has warned it is obligated to defend the Philippines if Filipino forces, ships, and aircraft come under an armed attack. The Philippines, with its limited military resources, find itself in a difficult position, trying to protect its territory and maritime interests against a much stronger neighbor. For the Philippines, an alliance with Israel offers critical support and a strategic benefit. Israel's expertise in intelligence, cybersecurity, and maritime defense addresses the Philippines' key security concerns. Access to advanced Israeli technology and training could significantly boost the Philippines' military readiness and its ability to protect its national interests. From Israel's perspective, an alliance with the Philippines offers important strategic advantages. The Philippines' location in Southeast Asia and its growing economy provide Israel with a key position in a region of great strategic importance. Economically, the Philippines is an emerging market for Israel's thriving tech industry. An alliance could open up new opportunities for trade and investment. Geopolitically, an alliance with the Philippines allows Israel to expand its partnerships beyond its traditional allies in the West, strengthening its global position. But both countries need to be cautious, as this alliance is not without risks. Israel has a tough choice to make between China and the Philippines. On one hand, they are thankful to the Philippines for sheltering many Jewish refugees, but they also want to keep their friendship with China strong and not cause any problems. China has become a significant trading partner for Israel, ranking third globally and holding the top position in East Asia. By 2022, China had become Israel's primary source of imports, with goods valued at $12 billion. Also. 
the Chinese investment in Israel startups has surged, particularly in sectors like medical web, cybersecurity, reaching a record $20 billion in 2022. Is Israel willing to jeopardize its economic relationship with China for the sake of supporting the Philippines? For the Philippines, aligning with Israel could strain its relationships with other Southeast Asian nations, some of which have close ties with China. Despite these challenges, the potential for an Israel-Philippine alliance is a compelling story of shared concern and strategic interests that could reshape the Asia-Pacific region as both nations face the challenges of a rapidly changing world. The need for strategic partnerships and cooperation has never been greater. If Israel and the Philippines can navigate these complexities, their alliance could become a powerful force for stability and security in the Asia-Pacific region, marking the beginning of a new era of cooperation in a region facing unprecedented challenges. In a world of uncertainty and shifting alliances, this unlikely partnership could play a key role in shaping the future of the Asia-Pacific region, promoting peace, stability, and prosperity.